Hi, I'm Tony Sabatino, and it's my pleasure to serve as the sponsor chair for NKBA Manhattan chapter. Uh, and basically, we're here tonight at the Savant Smart House. We're out in the desert of Las Vegas in this unbelievable, huge, um, uh, look at the view, right? The mansion is incredible, and it's our pleasure to have Julie here, our chapter president. Thanks, Tony. You're welcome. And Josh, who is the HTA. Uh, what is your role at the HTA? I'm the CEO of the Home Technology Association. Thank you, Josh. And what we're trying to do here is connect design and technology in a way that's really meaningful and impactful. So we have a home that has a really incredible user experience. And I would like to say that, that I'm blown away by it. And it's been my pleasure to do some of this type of design and, and integration work over the years. Julie, what do you think about this experience tonight? Well, I think the thing that really is informative about looking at this is as mind-blowing as all of the design is, you really start to see elements and ways that you want to incorporate it in the work that you're doing, even when it's not a mansion in Henderson, Nevada. How can our homes nurture us? Yes, exactly. Technology is more pervasive in our lives than ever before, and the pandemic even drove that adoption rate up. So it's not a matter of if we're going to have technology in home. It's just a matter of how much. And clients might have differing comfort levels with that. Some are into voice control, some are not. But as designers, what's really important in the role that we want to expound upon between interior designers and integrators is to have that conversation. So when you're designing a home, realize that your client's going to have technology at some level. So get out in front of that conversation and share with them the different technologies that are available. That's one of the things that we do at the Home Technology Association is make some tools to make it easy to share those technologies and just show your client, say these are some of the different menu options you have of technologies in your home. Maybe you want music everywhere. You're gonna probably have a TV somewhere. Maybe it's your security. You, you wanna have internet everywhere. You know, basic technologies like that or getting into the motorized shades and even color changing what they call human centric or circadian rhythm lighting, some of these more advanced technologies, they may want it all, they might want very little of it, but find out what that is and then talk to a very qualified technology integrator and then they become your technology consultant, your technology designer. They work with you as the designer. You know, for the people at home, uh, like we've got people, our crew is in New York City. We know you're not from New York City, so people look at the expanse, right? They look at the view, they look at the plants growing out of the floor over here, and they're like, mm, we can't really do that, but what can we do? How can we take this technology to another level and give our clients a better user experience? It's a great question, and what was really great about this tour tonight and experiencing this is you see design and technology blended together well. And that could be in a giant 15,000 square foot house like this. It could be in a very small place. The whole point is, is blending technology and design. So this is a great example of seeing designers and technology folks, technology integrators as we call them, get together and think through these things together. It's not done in a vacuum, it's done as a collaborative process. And so this is a great example of that because wherever you go in this home, Technology doesn't shout out at you, but it serves the user, right? We have great lighting in here. We have ability to listen to music wherever throughout the house. There's hidden technology everywhere. And that's what happens with a great collaboration between designers because you're so artistic about the vision that you want, the aesthetic that you want, and then blending technology in there. Let the technology serve the design, but it doesn't have to draw attention to itself. It could be hidden. That's awesome, and, and can we say as designers that it's nice to see the technology elements take a back seat, but the high performance of the technology really give our clients a, a really great user experience. Absolutely, yes. High performance home, yes, high performance It's a home. high performance home, and, and that's what's nice too. As, as time moves on, and, and brands like this, this happens to use a ton of Savant technology and Jay Geiger shades, there's a lot of uh, and USA Lighting is in here as well. So you see different manufacturers getting together and they keep evolving and getting better, more user friendly. And the technology is now, it's able to be programmed and, and so easy to use now and even customizable as we see. 
the, the technology integrator could build in some custom scenes for you so you could entertain, relax, whatever, hit a button, it does that, but still allow the user, the homeowner, to customize the experience to the way they live in the home, too. We're, we're looking right now at, at backlighting, and, you know, I mean, I hate cliches, but they're cliches for a reason, right? It takes, uh, it takes the teamwork to make the dream work, and when we look at this house, it's really true. I mean, we're looking at backlighting on features. If we can bring the camera around a little bit and, and show some of the backlighting and shadows on the, the beautiful acoustical panels behind the bed, and, and we're looking at this whole scene of Las Vegas behind us. We've got technology that will allow this entire wall to open and, and allow us to experience the outdoors. I mean, it's really, it's a modern marvel. And it really gives our, uh, our clients an incredible user experience. Well, I think the thing that's, that's so interesting to me about it is that uh, it sounds very high tech and it sounds super spacey, but any time you have the opportunity to actually experience and live with some of these advantageous things that we can put into a home, that's when you sell it. I mean, an opportunity to really see what you can do with the touch of a button, whether it's creating a scene, whether it's making your blinds go up and down, whether it's just turning your televisions on and off from another room. These things are mind-blowing when you get to experience them, even after you've heard about them. When we, uh, when we as designers, we take the initiative to guide our clients to make the best possible long-term investment in both their lifestyle and their significant asset, their home, we guide them to create a loving space that allows everybody, regardless of age and ability, to, to have a great user experience. And technology is a huge age in that. When we do that, we're making a space that has a, it has a really wonderful profile for, for family um, celebrations, holidays, and then the people who are providing that loving space, they get to naturally and gracefully age well, and the in beautiful that space. Thing, yeah, and the beautiful thing about that, Tony, is that it doesn't have to be something where you have to be a tech wizard to figure it out. It can be voice activated. So really, you can just talk to the machinery, and it'll do the work for you. So what I love is the fact that the HTA engages with what you call the rules of engagement. So let our readers and uh, folks at home know how they can engage with your rules of engagement, where they can find them, and where they can find you. Thank you. So our website is htacertified.org. That's our main website. And if you click uh, on the articles link at the top, what Tony's referring to is something we've just started this year. And we call it our rules of engagement, our code of conduct. And what we're, we want to do is bring the technology integrators and the design community together closer to work better together to collaborate on projects like this. Because to make a house as seamlessly integrated as this, Team it takes a lot of cord it takes a ton of coordination, right? So that is what we are working on at the Home Technology Association. So we came with a program called the HTA, HTA Design Partner Program. And that's for integrators that voluntarily opt into these 11 rules of engagement, if you will, to become better partners to you, designers, to make sure that they're collaborative, that they work with you, shared drawings, designing, designs to get your input on what finishes, what fabrics, what colors are, are, what styles is the house? Is it contemporary? Is it traditional? What is it? To get that aesthetic figured out, how are we going to hide this technology? And Because we want the integrators to be better partners to designers. But on the flip side, we want the designers to know these are the needs that the integrators have as well because there's needs for them to do their job for you and the client. There's things that they need as well. So we came up with what they called HTA Technology Partner Program, and that's for interior designers, architects, and builders that also opt into a code of conduct. So they became, they become great partners and teamwork together. So you could have end results like this home. Web address is htacertified.org. And Julie Schuster and KBA Manhattan. And Josh from the HTA, we can't thank you enough for this really informative spot for, um, for everybody who's checking us out. Thank you so much.